I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at using OpenAI's Codex platform, new AI platform from OpenAI, to um, explain how code works or what it's doing. So I'm gonna start here. This is the OpenAI Playground. I'm a beta tester. Um, I'm gonna define the language I'm using. So Python 2.7, um, and then I'm gonna put a function in here. I'm gonna put a comment calling it function one. And this is some code. I don't even remember I've got it from a um, open source project at some point, I think. And um, this is a code to download a file, um, given a path and a, a URL that you wanna download from. So I wanna though have OpenAI tell me what it thinks um, this is. So now I'm gonna say uh, explain in plain language what function one does. And then I'm gonna give it the beginning, function one and then a space. And uh, we don't need a very long response, so I'm going to drop my response length and the number of tokens here. And let's go ahead and run this and see what it comes up with. It's going to prattle on here, but let's look at the first line it uh, created. Function 1 downloads a file from a specified URL and saves it to a specified local path. Um, it just determined that from looking at this code that it's presumably never seen before, and that's exactly right. Uh, it does download a file from a specified URL that you pass into this function, and it saves it to a specified local path. Um, it's going to open that local file name and then write the contents of that URL into the file name. Um, and it has indeed explained it in plain language. This isn't very jargony or anything. It's exactly what uh, this function is doing. So you can see it's um, not only able to generate code, with Codex, you're actually able to take existing code and easily uh, create a description. This is a very simple function, but you can imagine using this to automatically generate documentation, or if you're looking at somebody else's code base, trying to get a sense for what it's doing, maybe trying to um, revive an older open source project that didn't have documentation, you could go through function by function and let Codex explain to you exactly what each function is doing.